Hey, what's going on, good people? Welcome back to another video. Um, so this is my review of the uh, Mafex Robocop, the damage, the unmasked damage version. Um, I know they have another one coming out later this year. It's going to be from the Robocop 2 movie. Um, I really didn't feel like waiting that long for it. Although I do like the blue tones in the uh, Robocop 2 version a little bit better. Um, but I like this one. Um, this is one I was really excited to get. I missed out on the other Robocop figures pr uh, prior to this one. Um, I really like to still get my hands on one of those, but I mean, they're so dang expensive. So that's the only reason I don't have one now. Um, Cause I'd like to at least have the mask on. Um, also to get one of those, um, you probably hear these fireworks going off in the back. Um, to get one of those, I mean, you sacrifice being able to get the actually um, the actual unmasked scope, which I think they did a really good job here. Let me bring this light down and see if we can show it. Uh, good, uh, good job getting the likeness of uh, Peter Weller. Um, I mean, it just looks awesome. They even the, just the detail in the uh, in the suit from the bullet holes. Um, even the, I guess that's supposed to be oil that was his blood was replaced with. Uh, the detail in the back of the back of the head, I mean, is, is really nice. Um, now, the one thing I don't care too much about mine, I don't know if this is any of my this issue, feels a little, I mean, it holds position, but just feels a little loose to me uh, from what I'm used to getting. Um, but, you know, as far as articulation wise, uh, I mean, he gets pretty good articulation. I mean, this is Robocop, so you're not going to be lifting his shoulders up too high because he didn't do that in the movies either. Um, does get a okay, you know, ab crunch. Nothing to write home about, but it's okay. Um, he's only going to go back about that far. Gets a little bit of tilt there. Um, yeah. So, I mean, it's okay. It's, his legs are not going to go out. This is about as far as his legs are going to go out, so, which isn't far at all. Uh, he does have the drop down in the legs. So, uh, so you can get a little bit more out of him there. Uh, as far as how far they'll go out, he can come out pretty high. I mean, but again, this is RoboCop, so it's not really like a lot of athletic movements you're going to get out of him. Um... But I mean, you know, it's it's it does what he's supposed to as Robocop. So I wish I have an older Robocop. I think it actually moves a little bit more. The, the pistons actually move. Um, but I really like this one still. I, I love the detail on it. Um, so I, I, I really I mean, my, my issues with it are very, very minor. Um, oh, head articulation. Oh, that's another thing. You can't look up too far because you try, this is what happens. So it comes off very easily. That's about as far as he can look up. Right there. They, granted, I don't recall him looking. Now, he looked down pretty good. He's just not going to look up pretty good. You can get a pretty good head tilt. But again, he's not going to look up well. So let's set him back up here. And we will move on now to the accessories. Um, this is one of the reasons why I wanted this too, are for the leg pieces to actually replace, you know, so you can have his leg uh, show him actually uh, taking a gun out. So I thought that was pretty cool. You can show that house in there. I haven't, oh, it's kind of blurry. Okay, there we go. I haven't looked to see how to actually do that just yet. Um, but when I do the photos, it'll be in there. You'll see then. He comes with three, if I can get these, little bottles of baby food. You see the hat? And he even has a little Gerber face, which is kind of cool. Um, comes with his signature gun. Nice to add a clip to actually come. Well, you know, before I say that, let me see. No, nope, that clip does not come out. All right. And 
I remember these guns from the movie. I mean, I thought these were some of the best guns. Um, yeah, let me do this so we can see it. And it comes with an extra tripod. So this is with the tripod folded down. Um, and then you can take that off and let me see. You can take it off and replace it with this one if you want to actually have it uh, recreate the scene from RoboCop. Oops. Well, there you go. From RoboCop, uh, you know, when he uh, confronted Air 209. So let's see if I can get this in here with. Okay, I just had it on backwards. All right, there you go. Ah, oh, a lot. Look at there. Okay, let's see if we can get three times the charm. Damn it. Well, I guess if you put that in there, you're going to be posted up anyway. So it's not just going to be hanging freely. This one actually sits in there a little bit better, as you saw when I first took it out. Um, and it doesn't fall out. Uh, you get one point in hand. And I really like how they did the hands. I mean, it looks exactly like, well, how Robocop's hand looked in the movie. Let me bring this light down. It looks bring this down here a little bit more so you can see but I like that pointing finger he comes with two closed fists and he comes with two trigger hands now this is for the same uh, same hand so I'm guessing one is for uh, the rifle, the others for his handgun. Oh, and last but not least, how can we forget? It's his Clarence Boniger killer. Or the key to access the internet. But I like to call it the Clarence Boniger killer. So, um, oh. Oh, man, I forgot. I did not see this hand over here. All right, so he comes with an extra hand, too. Or maybe this, this looks like a trigger hand, too. Maybe this is for the assault rifle. This is likely for the assault rifle. Um, and he comes with the gunfire effect. So let's get into our comparisons. All right, so first, uh, this isn't necessarily a size comparison, but this is a comparison to show how it looks compared to the original RoboCop figure that I have. So this one actually, to me, hit the table. To me, it's probably a little more detailed in some areas. Um, I got this. I don't even know if this is a NECA uh, Robocop or not. I got this probably about 15 years ago, I think, from uh, back when Media Play was still open. Um, and this is, is one of my favorite favorites. It doesn't have a lot of articulation to it. But, I mean, it just looks awesome. Um, it's... it's Probably just a few steps from being a statue. It has some movable parts, but it, it doesn't do much. So, just wanted to show that one. Um, also, let me bring... This is a... This is also a media play figure I had. A uh, Riddick figure. I, I don't even know if they made more than just this one figure. Um... I mean, not just as one, like, exclusive to me. I mean, I don't know if they made other versions of this. Uh, I know I haven't seen it in a while, but I think it stacks up pretty good even with that. Uh, Riggs a little taller in this. Uh, this figure's a little bit taller. Um, but I, I think it still sizes well with it. Let's see. Uh, bring. Since we got cyborgs in here. We'll bring in the cyborg. We got cyborg and steel. I think he pairs up pretty well with these as well. Um, I mean, I think that looks pretty good right there. Um, so I like how it looks there. Let's get these out of the way. And lastly, I want to show. Oh. Mm. Yes. Lastly, want to bring in Terminator. So this is the Terminator from Dark Fate. 
not the best of movies, but I, I do like parts of it. Um, and I'm a Terminator fan, you know, like most people are. So um, definitely could have been better. But, you know, I liked Arnold's role in it, as usual. Um, I'm looking forward to the new uh, Moffix uh, Terminator. They have come out from Terminator 2. So I can actually have a nice, really nice pairing up with this RoboCop. Um, but this one, I think, uh, where did I get this? I got this from Big Bad Toys. It's a 3-0 figure, one of the few that they made in the 1 12th inch scale. Um, so I thought that was cool. I wish they do more because that's, I mean, it's, it's a really nice figure. I like how they did the, the soft goods on it and everything. Um, but anyways, that's going to end it for this video. Um, if you like it, of course, hit like, subscribe, share it. Catch you later on the next video. Hey, curse it, run it up.